Father, we thank you for a time like this. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us mightily. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. The purpose of this short message is to explain the next bit of prayers we want to pray. So you can understand how to seriously pray. To seriously pray these prayers. I want to explain in a, in a few words and in a short time I want to explain the principle behind it to you. There are many weapons in the Bible that we don't use. There are many facilities open to us to which we have no access because of ignorance. There are plenty of things we ought to know we don't know. One of them is what I want to quickly explain now. And after explaining it, to drive us into what we are going to do in the next two palm of changes. Into which we are supposed to bring a man to for that. Because it's a deliverance and a service that is focused on what I'm telling you now. There is a power that can wake up dead virtues. There is a power that can reconstruct a scattered life. There is a power that can breathe life into dead businesses, dead programs, dead bodies. There is a power that can manufacture new organs and put it back into the body. There is a power that can carry out spiritual surgery and spiritual reorganization of the body. There is a power that can bring the hand of God powerfully into position. There is a power that can wake up the dead. There is a power that can remove every plantation of death and replace them with life. There is a power that can recover evil materials consumed by assorted covens and join them together to become one. That's a power that can unite various fragments of body, soul, and spirit and put them together. That is the power that can put together even everything that has been destroyed. Not broken to pieces, but destroyed. That is the power that can bring new things into focus. That is a power that can burn grave close to ashes. That's a power that can revive every dead destiny. That's a power that can make a man completely whole. That is a power that can remove every poison of serpent and scorpion and death from the body. 
Orota bi majele ejo akeke ati kukuru la gbara ni that can fold up all the programs of the enemy undo all the works of the enemy and replace with destiny changing programs so agbara kan wa to le kase gbogbo eto ota ko ka kuro nle ko si paro won pelu eto ti o mo waye agbara kan wa that can go down into a man's foundation to le lo si sale ipile niyan and make him whole Because he stole the people. There's a power that can replace everything the enemy has destroyed. That mysterious power is what the Bible calls the power of resurrection. The power of resurrection. There is no power anywhere that can defeat the resurrection power. There is no power anywhere that can shame the resurrection power. There is no power anywhere that can embarrass the power of resurrection. The mysterious power of resurrection is something most believers don't know how to invoke. Aditu agbara jinde je un kan ti opolopo Christian o mo ba se nru soke This is one power we need to invoke here today O je agbara kan ta nlati pe This is the power ni. we are going to invoke on the mantles we are going to bring us from next month Agbara kan na la pe sori awon aso enu ju ta mu wa sibi lati osu to nbo A situation has arisen now Isele ti se bayi that what the bible says They be pay on the people they saw evil men and seducers. They are waxing stronger and stronger. It has got into that situation now. Evil men and seducers are getting stronger and stronger. They are trying new things. They are wasting life. They are capturing destiny. We as believers, we need to go into the heavenly places. To get access into the glory of God. Begin to download the that we are going to use this is part of why we are talking about this right chapter 3 philippians 3 philippians chapter 3 verse 10 paul the apostle paul the apostle after he had been born again for 30 years leyan gbo odi atun bi yes after his salvation experience ogbo odun leyin riri igbala kan re This man has visited heaven three times. Thirty years after conversion, he is able to deduct thirty from their age now. There won't be a lot left. Thirty. Thirty whole years. After conversion, he is able to deduct. A man who has visited heaven three times. Now he is praying. This mysterious prayer. The man who wrote most of the New Testament. He's now writing this particular prayer point. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Philip Oriketa Ezekewa. He says this. Only that I may know him. Ki emi ki o le mo and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death that i may know him not only him he has separated it he wants to know jesus fine he also wants to know the power of his resurrection agbara ajindere The Bible says Jesus said several times to people I am the resurrection and the life and he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live there is a power a mysterious power called the power of resurrection 
this prayer we are going to start praying now. Was a prayer we prayed some time ago. For a woman whose womb had cancer. And because of that, they quickly removed the womb to, to prevent the cancer from spreading. So she got born again. Church. All of a sudden, one day, somebody approached her and said, I want to marry you. And she said, No. She had decided she didn't want to marry. Because there is no womb. But the man kept pestering her. Then the woman now called the man one day. Don't trouble me again. There is no womb. The brother said, God did not tell me whether there is a womb or not. God said, This is your wife. Anyway, they got married. It was the pregnancy of this sister. The delivery of the baby that converted the surgeon who did the surgery and became a member of Mountain of Fire. That was what converted him. He kept saying, but I removed the womb. But, but I removed the womb. But, but I removed the womb. I removed the womb. He kept saying that one. So, but here is the baby. And I was, and you delivered it in this hospital. I must follow you to your church. I'm praying for somebody here. Your testimony will give birth to other testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. It was the same prayer we were praying the other time. And this boy, father, professor, mother, professor, professor, but son, dons. Anytime he was in class, he came last. They were 36 people in class. His position was number 36. They added four more students to the 36. They became 40 in class. He moved to position 40. Moved right down to the last. He was in a service like this. We pray this kind of prayer. The boy was not there. But the parents were there. They prayed those prayers. And the word came forth for them. By the next examination, the boy moved from 40th to 1st. The teachers did not believe it. So they set a separate harder exam for him. The miracle is that he even did better in that one. That is what happens when this mysterious part that I'm talking about comes into a situation. I'm praying for somebody here today. Let your amen tear the gates of hell. Any good thing the enemy has killed in your life, receive resurrection power in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roll like thunder. In John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. Without him, there was made. Creative and resurrection power. It's this prayer that that day. And the power of God fell upon him. 
and his spam can jump to 100 million. Atore, o pe fuke o wa di e to po ye re pe de. I'm still praying the same prayer here. Oh, I'm to adure aye gba o. Whether it is a dead business, abi abi agara to ti ku. A dead school, abi le we to ti ku. A dead child, abi omo to ti ku. A dead destiny, abi aye omo to ti ku. A dead virtue, abi aye si ki to ti ku. The enemy has done receive resurrection power in the name of Jesus. Let the amen roar like fire and like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Now in Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. Please open this passage. Look at it. Well. Look at it very, very well. Colossians 116. For by him were all things created that are in heaven. That are in earth. Visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions. Or principalities of power. All things were created by him and for Whether the thing is visible. Whether it's invisible. Whether it's in heaven. Whether it's on earth. If it is something that is supposed to be. And the enemy fascinated it. The enemy has killed it. What I'm saying in this one is this. All those good things that have been killed. Receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that Ezekiel saw a value of Bible. And the Lord said, Can these bones live? Oh Lord, that rest. Professor. So Professor upon these bones. It's not me who will talk to them. You, you do the talking. You do the talking. Let's go. I say, oh God, you know. Say, hey, you think I'm going to talk to them for you? No. You are to do the talking with your mouth. After that, the Bible says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And any tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, thou shall condemn. He didn't say, ask God to come and condemn it. He said, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, prophesy unto this book. Tell them, O ye drivers, hear the word of the Lord. And they prophesy. And the bones came back to life. That is the power of resurrection. It applies to everything. It's not only life and death. It applies to you. When we command that power to enter into the body, things begin to happen. The organization takes place. When we command that power to enter into a body, if something there is not working properly, or it's been bastardized and polluted by the enemy, it is taken out. A new one place replacement. As if he I'm praying for anyone in this garden. Or listen to me. And the doctors have told you that a particular organ has stopped working. It's bad. Ovaries are dead. Dead. This dead. Right there where you are. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive the resurrection power in the name of Jesus. A seven for the man. It is the resurrection power 
that ensures our justification. It is the resurrection power that shows that Jesus defeated death. It is the resurrection power that unites us with Christ. It is the resurrection power that confirms the deep truth of the scripture. The, the Bible says if the resurrection is not true, said that our faith is in vain. It is the resurrection power that proves that Jesus is the Son of God. It is the resurrection power that proves that the Holy Spirit is poured into the hands of those who believe. It is the resurrection power that gives Christians a living hope. It is the resurrection power that is telling us that we shall be raised together with Christ. It is the resurrection power that makes us understand that we will judge the world in righteousness. It is the resurrection power that says it is the resurrection power that comes cast death for us. It is that power. Resurrection power is actually the foundation because it was that power that defeated devil who has the power of death. It defeated the devil who has the power of death. It was that power that saved that sister. They were already willing her to places where if she would die. What if there is a big bill of CBT? Woman, I want to walk by what we drive you that you lay my puny. She begged to be given a phone, which was taken. Oh, by the way, I rather break out what you want by law, you want that. She begged them to return the phone. Oh, by the way, come on, father. She called. Oh, by the And fortunately, as God will have it. I was able to pick the call. Because it's not possible for any genuine man of God to answer all calls. It's not possible. As I'm standing there now, my phone is ringing from all over the world. I can't be talking to you and answering phone calls. That same man of God has to pray too for you. For, for his fold. He has to study. He can't, he can't pick all calls. It's not possible. And the time I got somebody to pick the call, there was a problem. I won't go to that today. Anyway, I picked the call. And the voice I had on the phone was a voice that only the resurrection power could save. So I said, say this after me. Gather the rest of your energy together. Say this after me. Our voice was low. I said, try Say this after me. Say, I plug my life into the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power in the blood of Jesus. She started. I plug my life into the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. She started. Gradually. Gradually. The voice began to open up. Very soon. Very soon. I could hear voices around her. Madam, why are you shouting? Madam, why are you shouting? What the voice is? Why are you shouting? She shouted even more. And she got away from that place. Totally healed. By the next morning, confusion in the hospital. The consultant was angry. 
Then why did they give us these dangerous injections? Into our hearts, into our body. They said because all it's not possible. Not this one. There was, there was argument. And I said, excuse me. Don't, don't argue. Don't argue. It is a miracle. I call on the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. That resurrection power just as, as it make it alive can also kill without hands anything that wants to kill you. It says that same power makes all things to consist. It changes dry bones. It speaks creative words. It destroys stagnation and, and eliminates all kinds of decay. It brings the bread of life. It raises both physically dead and spiritually dead. When it enters into your blood, it will put disease killers inside your blood. So any disease that enters your blood, it just dies off. So, by that power of resurrection, you can preserve your own life. You can experience heaven and earth. It can become such a situation. Handkerchiefs, sweat, materials on your body brings miracles because that power has entered into it. So what is the most powerful force in the universe today? Is it the power of electricity? No. Nuclear warfare? No. Power of the waves? No. Power of the wind? No. Paul knew that most powerful. 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 It became loud and noisy. Things can remain quiet without anything until that power of resurrection manifests. The stillness and quietness of the cemetery will disappear if resurrection power descends there. That's why Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. If he had said comfort, there will be a crusade at the cemetery. When people will run back home. You need to be able to connect to this power now. And that is the basis of the next seven prayers you want to pray. But I want to help you. To succeed in this, you must surrender your life to Jesus. From all known sin, you must learn how to control and tame your tongue. You must have violent faith. And you must, must, you must participate in living prayers. And that is what you want to go and do now. Please rise to your feet, everybody. Rise to your feet now, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Rise to your feet. But you see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. You have a wonderful opportunity before we start these seven prayers to do so. That is severe.
wonderful opportunity. Just find a way to the altar here. Or any of the two altars at the back. Any church or assembly where you are, find a way to the altar of that church. To surrender your life to Jesus. So that you can be a partaker of the huge blessing of this day. And get the complete blessings. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Just say what I'm going to say now. Bow down your eyes and close your eyes. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. You say that short prayer with me. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, Baba, I thank you for your children here who have taken this very important decision. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. Write their names in the book of life. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus, let their lives no longer remain this way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, if you know why, eh? the counselors will discuss with you, and they will give you directives. Also, I want to get that talk before. The rest of us, wherever we are, why you couldn't even talk? Begin to talk to the Lord. Eja kabe zini ba uluwa solo. Father, we Baba. Any sin in my life that will not make your resurrection power to avail for me. Forgive me, O Lord. Talk to the Lord now. Let's rise to our feet now. This is the first prayer. Lay your right hand upon your own head. Please, every man and woman for themselves now. It will be a tragedy if you keep quiet. It will be a tragedy if you like this. This is water of fire. Program. Sisters, are you here today? Sisters, are you here today? Sisters, are you here today? Let me hear the sister say, Down power! Of resurrection. In the name of Jesus. Thou power of resurrection. Incubate my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Makatenda ya boshende. The power of resurrection incubates my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number two. Wind of resurrection. Blow upon my dry bones in the name of Jesus. Winds of resurrection blow upon my dry bones in the name of Jesus.
open your mouth and decree Something is going on here. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. I plug my life into the resurrection power. Can I hear you? Your voice is not loud enough. Shout it louder than that. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and plug your life in. Begin to plug your life in. I plug my life into the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 That resurrection power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. name we pray. Now this is number four. Number four is a prayer that has so much attached to it. By the power of resurrection, it is my turn to laugh. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By the resurrection, now number five. You need to be specific. If it's marriage, say marriage. If it's my business, say my business. Send my certificate. Put what you want inside this prayer now. Power of resurrection! Fall upon my career! In the name of Jesus! You have to be specific now. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. My captain, the Yaboshenta, Ribosopunta. Continue, continue saying it. Jesus is here. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Now lay your right hand upon your head. You are going to pray that prayer on your head. Power of resurrection! Fall upon my head! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. Lay that hand upon your chest. Power of resurrection. Fall upon my chest. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. This is number six now. Power of resurrection. Can you shout us loud and clear? Catapult my destiny. In the name of Jesus. 
Jeo ruko wa Yesu. In Jesus name we pray. Jeo ruko wa Yesu. Lagbadura. Shout hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. If this month is your birthday, can you rise on your feet, please? Father, we thank you. For those who are celebrating their birthday this month, let your mercy, your glory overshadow them. Bless them to a dumbfounded degree. By this time next year, if Jesus starts in his coming, let them be bigger bundles of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bring out your prayer letter now. And stretch it towards the heavenlies. Father, we thank you for these prayer letters. We commit the letters unto your hands after the order of Ezekiah. Answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every point written in these letters become testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. As you remain standing, again pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Peace. To the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. To him who doeth great things, for his mercy and joy forever. To him who has all powers in his hand, for his mercy and joy forever. For him who made great lights, for his mercy and joy forever. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bring out your first bottle of water. The one you have to drink here. Don't mix it up with the other two. The one you want to drink here. Make sure you drink it here. Hold that in your hand. Oh yeah, hold that in. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. According to your commandment, we leave this water of fire unto you. Fire consumes things. As we Drink this water. Let it consume every infirmity. Let it consume every bad luck. Let it consume every power of darkness. Let it become the water of deliverance. The water of power. The water of fire. The water of strength. The angels are used to trouble the water of Bethesda. Let that angel trouble this water in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Drink from this bottle now. You can drink a little bit for now. But be sure you drink everything before you leave this place. And go away with the bottle. Don't drop it at the precipitation. Just a little bit of the water. Thank you, Jesus. Put it aside. 
Pick the second bottle of water. The second bottle of water is for territorial deliverance. Territorial deliverance. Father, in the name of Jesus. We leave this water up to you, Lord. As we pour it in our environment. Sprinkle it in our place of work. Sprinkle it in our house. Sprinkle it in our buildings. Sprinkle it on anything. Let it have the cover of the blood of Jesus. Let the place become a terror to the enemy. In the name of Jesus. They are not you for protection. They are not you for breakthrough. They are not you for power. They are not you for excellence. Call upon this water in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. That is the environmental deliverance. Now the third one. This is the one you keep in the house. And use constantly until the next water of fire. But tonight before you sleep, listen to this announcement. Tonight before you sleep, this third bottle. Pray the prayers on your paper up on top of them. That there is prayer on the water on your paper. Pray it on top, up on top of the water. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit this water unto your holy hand. Let divine energy, divine vitamins, divine medication, divine fire, divine power, divine glory, the deliverance power of God, the yoke breaking power of the Holy Ghost, the authority of ease, the authority of deliverance, fall upon this water in the name of Jesus. And so I sanctify this water in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. Anywhere this water enters into, let it put the enemies to flight. Let it disgrace every plantation of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget, Power Messengers, August and September, you come with a mantle. We should are to pray on. You two want to connect to tomorrow. The youth. It will be broadcast by satellite and by internet. Let us share the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 21 thunderous, hallelujah.